Hey everyone, welcome to this new moon sidereal astrology forecast for the new moon on Sunday, September 25th, 2022. All right, so we have a new moon in improvement oriented Virgo. If you're expecting me to say Libra just then, be sure to check out the link down below for more information on true sidereal astrology. All right, so new beginnings, new energies starting to emerge. And so around this Sunday time period, good to essentially listen. You know, this is the lowest energy of the lunar cycle. We are seeing what is arising here. And although we could be setting intentions, it's very good to be receptive and see what does slowly emerge out of this. But more than likely, it will be the improvement natures of Virgo, where we've already been recently focused with the sun and where we've had this Mercury retrograde. And so new intentions around how we can improve things for ourselves and perhaps others. So for ourselves, it'd be perhaps things like personal development, creating good habits, good routines, and for others, perhaps through our work and service, right? Virgo is very much service oriented. And so it's a good time to see how we can be a facilitator, help solve problems, fix things usually through our work. You know, things like this is also a great way of, um, of developing this energy. Now there's a lot going on with it. It is gonna be conjunct that Mercury retrograde, adding to the fact that a lot of this is about flexibility and learning at the moment. It's gonna be conjunct Venus, so there could be some new values arising out of this, new insights about our values, maybe even some new insights about our relationship life as well with Venus. And opposite up to the Neptune and uh, Jupiter that are very close in Pisces. And so Pisces is the reminder that while it is good to focus on what we do have control over with Virgo, it's also, of course, important to let go of what we don't. And that's the Pisces. And so being receptive, being willing to go with the flow, trust our intuition, turn a bit inward sometimes, right? Have a bit of that peace, that spiritual peace. See that everything is perfect the way that it is in a divine sense, right? Uh, is a great way of balancing this out. We'll also be trying Pluto. So maybe there's some empowerment with this new moon as well. But let's go and take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. Alrighty, so here is the chart for the new moon. Again, it will be on Sunday, September 25th. And the exact time will be about 6.45 p.m. of the Americas, Eastern time of the Americas, if you do want to make that calculation for wherever you are in the world. Um, this is using topocentric, which is the actual surface of the Earth. And so uh, the uh, times do change depending on where you are located in the Earth, not just by time zone, but also in positioning as well. But for all intents and purposes, it will be Sunday, the day surrounding Sunday here, essentially. All right, so new moon, new moon in Virgo, the maiden, the improvement oriented signs of life. Now, first of all, new moons are a good time of recognizing this is the lowest energy of the lunar cycle. And so a good time of as we approach the weekend to perhaps end things and complete things from the previous cycle and listen. Right, in this lowest energy. It's a spiritual time, a time to listen, to turn a bit inward, and see what new does emerge. But of course, with that, it becomes a very powerful time to access intention and manifestation, of course, because we are more connected to the spiritual realms, we could say, in this low energy from a you know outer consciousness sense, but from an inner consciousness sense, uh, we could be very attuned. So setting new intentions around this improvement nature is great as well. But again, just seeing what new does emerge here and a good time of planting new seeds and experimenting these next few days, really, as life will be supporting us in trying new things and experimenting going into next week. But let's talk more about Virgo. So Virgo, the maiden, the refined one, the one striving towards perfection, all right? This is where we've had the sun already here for about a week and Mercury retrograde for the past weeks. And so uh, nothing new for us here, but setting new intentions around how we can develop more of this striving towards improvement, striving towards perfection, so to speak. Well, again, letting go of what's outside of our control, which is the Pisces, balancing that out. And also seeing that everything is perfect the way that it is. Again, balancing that out with Pisces. But nonetheless, focusing on what we do have control over. So usually that's ourselves. Usually that's a great time for personal development, right? Um, building new routines, new habits, health perhaps, right? 
And um, then externally, you know, things like our service or our work. And so a good time of perhaps building new skills, perhaps um, cultivating new intentions for our work or service. Again, that's part of the routines and day-to-day -day energies as well. All right. And um, yeah, and seeing how it's so valuable to have this analytical, perfection-oriented, improvement-oriented, refinement energy, being willing to solve problems, fix things, find solutions to things. All right. This is all what we're going to be developing not only for this lunar month, but really the next one as well, as this will be a double new moon in Virgo, which does happen because Virgo is a large constellation. And so the next one will be here as well. So we're talking about the next months, really. Now, with some of these uh, aspects, we do have uh, some important ones, right? So Mercury and Venus will be technically conjunct the new moon. Of, they're, they're a little far away because they're usually close to the sun anyways. So for a new moon, um, you know, these are for a conjunction to the sun. This is not that close, but still definitely noteworthy, especially the Mercury retrograde because Mercury is the ruler of Virgo. So anytime we want to get more information on a new moon, we see the sign and the ruler of that sign tells us more about it. And so in this case, it's Mercury who is retrograde, suggesting that this new lunar cycle really as a whole, even though it will, even though Mercury will only be retrograde for about another week and a half, but, um, you know, this whole lunar cycle will be requiring flexibility, especially during the Mercury retrograde right now at the beginning phase of the cycle. So being adaptive, right, being flexible, the more that our life is flexible and more we're willing to adapt and try new things during a retrograde, the better. Not just because negative things will happen as a result. It's just a good time of learning and experimenting. We learn so much during a Mercury retrograde. We have so many different perspectives. Things that normally didn't work start to work. Things that normally work don't work, which gives us this new perspective on things and to perhaps redo things, re-edit, you know, reconfigure, reevaluate, right? And so flexibility is the name of the game with this. And I think anything that is with that intention is certainly being in alignment with this new cycle. Now, Venus is close as well, which could symbolize some new beginnings with our values. Venus has come into here since about Friday uh, prior to this new moon. And so seeing the value and enjoyments of some of that improvement nature, right? Now, Venus is debilitated here. It's not her most comfortable sign by any means, arguably her least comfortable. So when it does come to those values and relationships, it is good to kind of be mindful of that improvement oriented nature, right? And that just sort of goes without saying, you know, relationships don't like to be fixed and people don't like to be improved and, and especially when it's coming from someone else or in a relationship and so this is just the sort of metaphor or the symbolism of this venus and virgo kind of energy but of course it can be uh, expressed healthfully and one of the healthy ways of doing that um, is first of all uh, improvement within relationships so those that want to improve in the sense of joining together to do personal development joining together to do some fixing things one of the one of the great examples of that is our work it's actually a great time to be connecting in relationships at our work because usually that's joining up with someone else to solve a problem or fix something or find a solution to something and so with that orientation you know, I think it's a great way of working with this uh, Venus here. But the new beginning could certainly signify these new values of this emerging and perhaps new relationship energy emerging as well. So, again, any intentions around those areas can also be great. So this is all opposite up to the Jupiter and Neptune, who are, of course, retrograde because they're opposite the sun, but they're in Pisces. And so this is has been, you know, a very good year for reconnecting to our soul reconnecting to what's important to us on a soul level, have, you know, having more peace in our life, being willing to go more with the flow, as they say, but more innerly connected, more soul guided, more present. And this is a fantastic new moon as a reminder of that, to balance out Virgo, because what ba balances out all of this control improvement nature is non-control and letting go letting go of control nature and so balancing this right and so while setting the intentions of what we do have control over as a reminder letting go of what we don't and the importance of always staying connected to our spiritual roots even though Virgo can be very much in the physical world staying connected to our spiritual roots our inner soul our inner guidance and whatever it is that we are doing in our day-to-day -day 
life or with our work and service needs to be important to us on a soul level. Right? And so balancing out this work and rest, doing and being, work physically, work spiritually, is a great way of, of balancing this out. Okay, And there can certainly be some opportunities here with Jupiter with the new moon new perspectives again Jupiter very much deals with these perceptions and Neptune just adds to that Pisces importance of balance as Neptune is the natural ruler of Pisces here all right everyone and a trine to Pluto which is supportive so Pluto the planet of the underworld who rules things like personal transformation and empowerment and facing fears is supporting this new moon as well so nice to see that and again in perceptual Sagittarius is all about transforming perception, as it has been for many years. And so uh, new perceptions, new empowering perspectives uh, can be great as well. But anything that is, again, moving through fears or in, you know, moving through inhibitions or empowering ourselves is very supported with this new moon. All right, everyone, so that's the new moon in a nutshell. Long story short, put simply, this is a time of listening to set new intentions with the improvement-oriented nature of Virgo, striving towards... Uh, personal development and our work and service is usually great ways of working with this energy but all in all seeing and learning about the value of uh, you know fixing analyzing improving getting into the details of things all these qualities of virgo certainly coming out which of course benefit from balancing it with receptivity with presence right of pisces so everyone have a fantastic new moon. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click the like button if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're not yet signed up for MTZ Insiders, you do get these videos released first before YouTube. There's a link down below to sign up for that. But have a great new moon, everyone. Thank you again for all of your support. And I'll see you all next time for the next astrology forecast. Take care.